Well guys, it's official. There isn't going to be an iPhone 5. But what we got here is the iPhone 4S. That's what we're getting now. The iPhone 4S is not exactly what we expected. We expected a new model of uh, the iPhone and iPhone 5, which would be slimmer, possibly bigger. We don't know exactly what. But instead we're getting an iPhone 4S, which is the exact same look as the iPhone 4, which on some levels it's pathetic, on other levels... I mean, it's pretty nice because there's some really great features it's coming with. So the features we got here are the A5 processor. A5 is essentially the dual-core processor, and it's going to be about seven times as good as the one we have right now on the iPhone 4. And it also is coming with an 8-megapixel camera. 8 megapixels is 3 megapixels step from 5 megapixels, which is on the iPhone 4, and it has 1080p video, which is beautiful. I bet it's going to be crisp. But I don't really mind the iPhone 4's um, camera capabilities because it's still pretty damn nice. Better than my camera, at least. And then another thing, universal CDMA and GSM. One phone for all CDMA and GSM users. So that way, you don't have to have a different phone if you're on Verizon or AT&T. It's all the same thing. And not only that, you're also adding Sprint to the whole package. You know, Sprint is also um, joining Apple with uh, the iPhone. And so now it's going to be Sprint, um, AT&T, and Verizon. So three different companies, all with the iPhone 4S. Not the iPhone 4, I almost said 4. The 4S. And the last feature we have is voice control. Now you're probably thinking, ah, voice control, it's already on the iPhone and stuff. No, it's a different type of voice control. It's called Siri. And basically what it is is you can say words and it takes you to different applications. It types in stuff on Google search for stuff, everything is controlled through that voice control feature called Siri. And also, prob I'm not exactly sure on this, um, voice control text messaging, I think that's there, not exactly sure. So yes, that is the iPhone 4S, not much to it, it's basically your average iPhone 4 with just a little anti up on the stuff, um, more uh, processing capability, more... Um, camera capability and that's pretty much that I mean there's really nothing else you could really say about it because I mean they didn't really put anything in it exactly and it's also being going to be coming out with iOS 5 and iOS 5 is also coming out for other Apple i devices as well and iOS 5 is set to launch October 12th so that's eight days from now um, if you don't if you can't wait you can get the developer one but that's gonna cost you a hundred bucks so yes um, iOS 5 is coming out in 8 days. I know it's been a long wait. I mean, I remember last month there was rumors that it was coming out on September 7th. Uh, that didn't happen, so now it's again this month, and hopefully, hopefully, um, it's going to be exactly what it says it is. Um, great, amazing. I mean, it looks real nice. But yes, that's pretty much what I have for the video, guys. iPhone 4S, features of the iPhone 4S, and iOS 5, October 12th. Thank you, and goodbye.